now she barely knows Probably sell his soul for a kiss There's a girl somewhere in Arkansas Who's talking with a southern draw A guy who can't stop staring at her Guys, before we get started on this song, go ahead and tune your guitar to half step down. That way it'll sound like mine. Later on, if you want to play it in standard, just use the same chords depending on the key or the studio versus live version you're trying to play along with. Um, secondly, it uses a lot of basic chords um, throughout the song, so I'm going to list them here, show them on the tabs. You got your standard G chord, third fret low E, second fret A, open D and G, and then third fret B and high E string. And then you have an E minor 7th, which is open E, 2nd fret A, 2nd fret D, open G, 3rd fret B, 3rd fret high E again. And then you have the D over F sharp, which is the 2nd fret low E. Go ahead and lightly touch the A string so it doesn't ring out. Open D, 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B, and high E string. And then we have an A minor. Open A, 2nd fret D, 2nd fret G, 1st fret B, open high E string. Then we have a G over B, which is going to be the 2nd fret A string, open D, open G, 3rd fret B, open high E string. And then you have a C chord, which is 3rd fret A, 2nd fret D, open G, 1st fret B, open high E string, a D major chord, open D, 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B, 2nd fret high E string. And then we're also doing a C add 9. 3rd fret A, 2nd fret D, open G, 3rd fret B, and high E string. And then lastly, an E minor. And that's just going to be the 2nd fret of the A string, 2nd fret of the D string, the rest are open. 
sounds like a lot, but um, they're pieced together in a way that makes it really simple to distinguish the intro and verse, the hook, and the chorus. All right, we're going to start with the intro and the verse, and it's going to sound like this. Just repeat it over and over again. So the chords we're going to be using for the intro and verse are going to be G, E minor 7th, and D over F sharp. What's nice about this is you can keep your pinky and your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B and E strings down here. And all you have to do is move uh, these two fingers. So starting with the G, um, you're going to strum down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, before switching. switch to the E minor 7th, then again, the 2nd fret A and D string, um, leave your ring finger and pinky where they are, and you're just going to strum down, up, down, up. And then you're going to switch to the D over F sharp, so again, 2nd fret low E, 2nd fret G, and you're going to strum down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So all together a little bit slower, starting with the G. D minor 7, D over F sharp. And you just keep repeating that throughout the verse. So I'll play at regular speed, try to play along if you can. I play the intro and the verse, um, no matter where you are in the song. Alright, next part up is the hook, and that's going to sound like this. So starting with that A minor, you're going to do the same strumming pattern that you were doing in the verse. So it's going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up for each of these chords with the exception of the last one. So, A minor. Then we're going to move to the G over B. So all you have to do is put your middle finger on the second fret of the A string and put your pinky or your ring finger, whichever is more comfortable, on the third fret of the B string. And you're going to do the same strumming pattern. chord and do the same strumming pattern. And the last chord is going to be a D major chord and all you have to do is strum down on that one. During the second hook you strum that one out but you'll see that along in the tabs all it is is a bunch of down strums and then muted strums and I'll show you those in a bit. Um, but the hook uh, all together should sound like this a bit slower. And then regular speed. Last part up is the chorus, and this one changes up the strumming pattern a bit, but it sounds like this.
are three parts to the chorus. The first part, you just use the chords C N 9, 3rd fret A, 2nd fret D, open G, 3rd fret B, and high E string, and then a G major chord, which all you have to do is raise uh, your index and middle finger up one string each. Now the strumming pattern, like I said, is going to change. So with each of these chords, you're going to do down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So just remember that strumming pattern for each of these chords. So you start with the C at 9. Go to the G. Simple enough, right? That's part one. Part two, same strumming pattern, but you're going to use the chords D major and E minor. So again, same strumming pattern. Now the second part, you can play two ways, either the way I just played it, or you could do a couple <coughs> muted strums at the end of that E minor. So if we start with the D... way to play it. The second way to play it is like this. So all I'm doing is with that E minor chord, I'm strumming down, down, up, up, down, and then I'm going to mute the strings with my fretting hand, just rest them on top, and then strum down, up, down, up. Um, and that gives you that percussive sound before you go back into the first part. So. Now you repeat part one and part two before going into part three in the chorus. So again, C at nine, G. And E minor. Now after you finish that E minor, you're gonna go into part three of the chorus. And part three is the part that sounds like this. This part uses C at 9, D major, E minor 7th, and then you go back to a D major and then end on a C at 9. Um, strumming pattern for the first two chords is going to be the same as before. So C at 9 goes down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, D, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Now the E minor switches a little bit so faster. So for E minor you go down, up, down, up. Switch to D, go down, up, down, up, down, down, up, and then you switch to the C at 9 and just strum it down and let it ring out. Um, for the first chorus, at least the second chorus, again, you can strum the C at 9 out completely um, before going to the next part. But for the first chorus, it's just one down strum and let it ring out. So, third part a little bit slower. regular speed. And all you have to do is put all those parts together and you can play the whole song. So uh, I'll do the chorus one more time um, in full, a little bit slower, and try to play along if you can. So here we go. And that does it for this lesson, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. No one really requested this song. I just wanted to teach it because I heard it on the radio and I really like it. Um, never heard of this guy before. Trent Harmon. I don't even think I said his name at the beginning of the video. Uh, 
know. Um, anyways, I'm working on other uh, tabs as well, and uh, I'll post more videos as soon as I can. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.